Good morning children. Hope you are doing well. Today we will do a topic called has, have and had. So today you will learn where we use these three words has, have and had. To start let us look at the following sentences. In the first picture children there is a girl with a cat. So the girl points to the cat and says, I have a pet cat. So this is her pet cat. Because this cat is hers, she says, I have a pet cat. In the second sentence, a new girl, her friend comes and she points to the cat and says, you have a pet cat. So she is telling the girl that you have a pet cat. In the third picture, both of them are with the cat playing. And then they say, we have a pet cat. In all these three sentences, we have used the word have. Now let's look at the other three sentences. Here the cat is with many boys. So we say the boys have a pet cat. You can also say they have a pet cat. In the second picture there is a boy called Anil who has a bicycle. So this sentence is, Anil has a bicycle. If you are not using his name, then you could say, he has a bicycle. And in the third one, there is a girl Sita with her bicycle. So the sentence will be, Sita has a bicycle. Or, if you are not using Sita's name, then you can say, she has a bicycle. And in the last picture, we have a postman. But what is different from all the pictures on top? Here the postman does not have a cycle with him, but he is thinking about a cycle that he had means the cycle was with him before but now he doesn't have it. So here the sentence will be the postman had a bicycle. So children in all these sentences when we said I have a pet cat it means that I own the cat. Own means the cat is yours. The cat belongs to you. So has, have and had are words which are used when we want to say we own something. For example, when you show your friend something that you have, you say I have a new pencil or I have a new bicycle. So have is used when you are having something with you. It is yours. Now when do we use has? Has is used after singular words and have is used after I, you and plural words. Has and have are used when we speak of now or today. So if we look at all the sentences on top, whenever we have used have or has, it means that thing belongs to you now or today. And we use have for I, 
you and plural plural means when more people are there so we they boys all these plural forms will have have now when do we use has when it is singular single person so he has a bicycle she has a bicycle now let us see when to use had had is used when we speak of things that have already happened like this postman he is thinking of a thing which was already there with him but he doesn't have it today that's why we are using had now that you know when to use has have and had let us start doing the exercise study the pictures carefully and then fill in the blanks correctly with has have or had so children look at the picture understand the sentence and then decide which of the three words have to be used in the first picture it is about a car and the sentence is our neighbors dash a new car now if you look it is neighbors that means plural form many people together that's why we use the word have remember when it is plural we add have in the second sentence my friend dash a watch here it is only one person that's why singular form and so we'll use has my friend has a watch c i dash a brother and a sister whenever it is i and you we use have i have a brother and a sister now here the man is thinking about a house that means he doesn't have it with him now that's why it will be i wish we had a house because it is not with him now e she dash many friends she is singular that's why she has many friends f cows dash two horns cows is plural form and whenever plural comes we use have cows have two horns g you dash a big bag you is followed by have you have a big bag h the table dash four legs it's one table so the table has four legs i i dash five t-shirts when i comes we use the word have i have five t-shirts j in this again the man is thinking about what he had it is not there now i dash a blue tie with my school uniform so i will use the word had because it has happened before he doesn't have it now or today the last one the deer dash a small tail it is one deer so the deer 
has a small tail. So in today's exercise, we have learned to use the words has, have and had. That is all for today children. Thank you and have a nice day.